All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep life music. Make sure y'all following us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Hey, man, I appreciate all y'all coming on in. So, you know, a lot of you guys have been hearing about this lawsuit, this newest accusations that came out against uh, music producer uh, P. Diddy. And a lot of you guys have heard about these accusations or implications. If you haven't, I'm going to tell you about what's going on, and it was a surprise to me that uh, none other than pro music producer Hitman Stevie J, now his name has been implicated in this lawsuit and in this situation, which is horrific because, you know, I, I, I like Stevie J just from the show Love and Hip Hop, you know what I'm saying? I liked his character on there. You know, I thought it was kind of funny, and I thought it was good for TV, like his character, but I never knew that these type of allegations uh, were swirling out here in the public. Now, producer uh, Rodney Lil Rod Jones has came out in a lawsuit against Puff and said that he lived and traveled with Diddy uh, from September of 2022 to November of 2023, during which time he recorded hours of video and audio of P. Diddy, his staff, and others engaging in serious quote unquote, illegal activity. Now, Rod had posted a video early this month claiming that he had feared uh, for his life and that he was being threatened by somebody powerful. And so a lot of people speculated uh, that that could have been uh, Puff, uh, you know, um, as, you know, he wrote on his, under his, his uh, video, thanks to everyone for your support, prayers, and words of encouragement as we continue our fight for the uh, creatives. Now, um, he also put a GoFundMe up there uh, as well as I think he wanted to get money, I guess, for lawyer fees. Now, in the lawsuit, <clears throat> he claimed that Diddy uh, violated him. Uh, he claimed that Diddy would uh, basically do things to him and touch him in inappropriate places. He also said that Diddy would walk around without clothing in front of him. Uh, and also, uh, he said when he complained about the alleged behavior of Puff, Diddy would downplay the alleged, uh, you know, situations as quote unquote horseplay. Now, Rod is claiming that Puff was trying to quote unquote groom him. And uh, not only that, he claims that Puff forced him uh, to watch a uh, video involving Hitman Stevie J, who is the producer that y'all see on the screen. Remember, Stevie J was on Love and Hip Hop with Jocelyn. Uh, Stevie J, man, one of my favorite characters on the show. I can't believe this, man. It kind of got me disappointed that this allegation even came out. And again, it's an allegation, but he says that Diddy forced him to watch video involving Stevie J uh, having relations with another uh with another brother. Now, Jones included a screen grab of the video in the lawsuit. Uh, now, according to the reports, he put a screen grab of the video in the lawsuit that he formed. So he actually, I guess, is trying to say he has evidence of this uh, situation. And that, that just bothers me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean... Wow, I haven't heard anything from Stevie J. You know, I hope Stevie J uh, can come clear this up. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, like I said, man, I like Stevie J, man, but I ain't going to front, man. I mean, if, if if that's what's going on, bro, I mean, listen, you know, it's not, it's not. If that's what happened to this brother, man, don't nobody deserve for that to happen to them if that's what happened to him. You know what I mean? And that's just the truth, you know? And, and like I said, man, I, I, I me personally, man, I... um. You know, I, I like Stevie J's character. I like his, his whole thing on love and hip-hop, man. You know what I'm saying? The good guy. 
you know what I mean? But this ain't good if this is what, and like I said, I mean, if it's his preference, if that's what Stevie J want to do, I don't get down with that. That's his preference. But if this man, if the, what this man is saying is true, that he was forced to look at this type of activity, I mean, that that's not right. That's not fair to anybody to force somebody to do something against they, they will. And so, you know, the man don't bought out the lawsuit. He said that he got the, they said that he put the, uh, you know, the, the video he got to grab. They said that he have a uh, screen grab of the video in a lawsuit where he's claiming that Puff forced him to watch a video involving Stevie J, you know, with another brother. And so, like I said, man, that bothers me. That, that kind of hurts me, man. Like I said, because I'm a, I like Stevie J as, a, as just a, uh, a TV personality. You know, and it just kind of make you think, you know, again, now Stevie J got a chance to defend himself in this. You know what I mean? Uh, if his name came up, I guess it's a straight his name came up. Uh, but it's sad that, you know, his name has came up in this now. I know Stevie J is probably, you know, not going to say nothing because it's a legal situation unless he's advised otherwise by his attorney. But again, man, you know, that's that's a bad thing for your name to come up and then the guy to allegedly have put the screen grab, uh, you know, of you in this position in the lawsuit. You know what I mean? Uh, and so, like I said, man, if, th if this is proven, like I, like I said, man, you know, a lot of people have been coming after Puff, man, and it just is adding up, man. And now they're saying that all of this stuff is going on. You said, how do you get a screen grab? Well, basically what you do is, it's like if you have a phone and you play a video in a phone, you can pause the video and then screenshot where you pause the video at. So if he wants to put that in a lawsuit, like this is what Diddy forced me to watch. And then he screenshotted the, the actual part of the video where he's saying that Stevie J was in it doing whatever he claimed Stevie J was doing. And he put that in a lawsuit. That's how you would screen grab that and then put that in a lawsuit. They add that with the lawsuit uh, or or he may have added the video in a lawsuit. Who knows if he did that? Then it's probably, you know, if he can prove that he was forced to watch that against his will, that's probably an open and shut case. But he's going to have to prove that, you know, what I'm saying again, you know, um, you know, all accused parties are innocent to proven guilty uh, on the situation. And so, like I said, I don't know if Stevie J has responded yet to hit to him being mentioned and implicated in this lawsuit and accused in this lawsuit. Uh, you know, he didn't say that Stevie J, uh, you know, violated him. He just said that he was forced by Diddy uh, to watch Stevie J, uh, you know, you know, do some things, man. And, and it's just not cool. So basically his, his, his lawsuit is, is mainly going at Diddy. Also, they said that, you know what I'm saying? Um, he also says some things about, uh, Diddy's ex-girl in there too. Uh, the young, what you call it, girl, chick, uh, whose name also came up in there. You know what I mean? He said that she also, uh, you know, violated him, uh, allegedly attempting to, you know what I'm saying, have relations with him in front of Diddy and members of the staff. And so... You know, he claimed that Diddy brought, you know, different chicks, uh, you know, who get paid to go to the crib uh, in um, Miami and says that they were basically the same thing Mark Curry was saying is what, you know, Rob was saying. You know what I mean? Uh, he also claims that Diddy uh, intentionally served, uh, you know, spike bottles to uh, – you know, youngers. I just put it like that. And so it's it's man, it is a serious, serious situation uh that's going on. And he apparently put photos in the lawsuit of Diddy with a female. Now some people are speculating that this female, you know what I'm saying, is, you know, not of the right uh, you know, not legal basically. You know what I mean? Um and so Rod also uh, put allegations out there uh, of a shooting. He basically said that Diddy and his son Justin got in a heated argument at an L.A. recording studio. 
and he says that you know uh you know they got the blazing out there and a man named g was hit and bleeding profusely from his stomach now he says diddy told him to lie to the police and say he was shot in the drive-by uh you know rod also says diddy introduced him to cuba gooden jr on diddy's yacht and cuba allegedly began um you know touching him and inappropriately and doing things to him that he didn't want to do uh you know touching them in all kind of places that he didn't want to be touched. You know what I mean? And he also included that evidence in a lawsuit with Cuba Gooden Jr., you know, basically hanging all over him. You know what I mean? It, uh, he's But in the law, in the picture, here's the problem in the picture. He's smiling in the picture. You know what I'm saying? Like the picture that Rob put up, Cuban Gooden Jr. looked dead serious. He looked like he, he, looked like he ready. To, he looked serious in the picture. But Rod, he's smiling. So he's suing, but in the picture that he put up, he's smiling. Now, Diddy has denied all wrongdoing and says he looks forward to his day in court. But like I said, this picture that, that Rod put up with him and Cuba Gooden Jr., Cuba Gooden, they look like they're getting some music or something like that on the yacht. But Cuba Gooden Jr. got his arm around him on one arm. His hand looked like it's on his leg or something like that on the other side. I can't tell if it's his arm or his leg that his hand, other hand is on. And he's leaning close to him, and this guy is smiling. So I've seen a lot of people talking about, like, well, you were smiling in the picture, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? And so, again, you know, these are just different things that, you know, people are talking about. You know what I mean? So he has actually provided screenshots of certain things in this lawsuit uh you know he's provided the screenshots of these things that he said you know what i mean um so again you know i, I don't know what man it's unbelievable you know what i mean unbelievable but he has put a lot of these things he also like i said he put the pictures with diddy and a chick online so he's put a lot of this stuff in the lawsuit excuse me so a lot of these pictures now have been online now you know what i'm saying a lot of these pictures have been online. And so, you know, I don't know, man. It's just, it don't look good, man. You know what I mean? It do not look good, man. Um, so, you know, but, yeah, man. They don't bought Stevie J's name up into it, man. And that kind of, like, threw me off. I was like, man, dog, they don't put Stevie J in this? Like, it kind of just threw me back, you know, to be honest with y'all. But, you know, I'm going to find out with everybody how y'all feel about this, man. You know, how y'all feel about uh, this producer, Rob, bringing up Stevie J in this lawsuit and bringing his name up in this lawsuit, man. And they said that he actually showed a grab shot to implicate Stevie J in this thing, man. And so, I mean, you know, Stevie J, I haven't heard him speak out on it yet. I know he's going to have his side of the story. Uh, you know, it's all sides. It's innocent until proven guilty. And so I wonder what Stevie J is going to say about this, if he's going to say anything about his name being, you know, implicated in this lawsuit as far as, and it's not because he did something to this guy. This guy is saying that Diddy made him watch something from Stevie J that he said he didn't want to do. But again, in this picture that I saw with him and Cuba Gooden Jr., uh, it's like Cuba Gooden Jr. is like looking at this dude like he's serious. You know what I mean? But this dude look like he's smiling. So, I mean, in a lawsuit photo, you look like you're smiling. That's what I've seen a lot of people talking about, too. Like, yo, Hot Rod talking about he was uncomfortable, but he was smiling in that picture, though. He was smiling in that picture. Now, maybe was it that he's afraid to do have a different reaction because of what could happen? You never know. But, I mean, in that picture, he was smiling. So, you know, a lot of people saying, hey, man, you're doing this for the money now, for the lawsuit. I mean, you know, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section about this. How y'all feel about this uh, entire situation with, with Hitman Stevie J, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe. Much love to y'all. Respect to y'all. Honor to y'all. And I'm going to holler. Don't y'all forget, man, uh, a lot of my content that you guys are not going to see is going on my podcast show. So make sure y'all subscribe to that on my podcast show. The link will be at the top of the comments, man. I appreciate all y'all, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to my podcast. If y'all want to know where all my content is going, it's going over there. 
uh, most of it. So salute. And it's all over there. All the hidden content is going over there. So we, we loading it up all the time. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Support the channel. Support what we're doing. Peace.